On the 14th of April, the FAA issued a launch license to SpaceX for the Starship Orbital Flight Test. First attempt is happening today, the 17th, as this video premieres and the link to SpaceX's livestream is in the description. The point of this video though is to mark the Starship OFT or Orbital Flight Test by doing a little mission in Kerbal Space Program 2, where we are just going to get this Starship, which you may remember from my Starship to Duna video, to the ALKO, orbit Kerbin once and perform the orbit burn and land. Now this craft that you see on your screens dates back to early days of KSP2, pre-sort any patch and I found out it's a big bit wonky to fly but I'm also positively surprised that it actually flies and doesn't for example explode on launch immediately. It is important to say that this craft file is old because the boost back wasn't as stable as or smooth as the initial one in the Duna video might have been. You have seen me pump fuel to the lower fuel tank just there and that's because I wanted to make the booster aft heavy so that it doesn't just randomly flip and spin. Such action resulted in increased stability and finally allowed us to glide back to KSC fairly okay. Came the time for the landing burn and I wasn't satisfied to the fullest, but what you see here is my best attempt. I just figure it's more of a craft or version issue rather than my skills. Let's just not talk about what happened after landing and assume there was no explosions involved whatsoever. But here we are back in the starship heading for orbit. I realized soon enough that our delta V readout is wrong. So I've checked our fuel tanks and three were still fuel full. So it means I actually flew this craft as a tanker the last time I've used it. So all we had to do was enabling the fuel crossfit on the decoupler. I'm just gonna coast it closer to Apogee and burn prograde. That way we can stay below 100 km of orbital height and circularize efficiently. Now that we need to save fuel this time. <laughs> Here's a bit of unsped footage just with in-game time warp going at either 5 or 10 times speed, allowing us to take in the views below and the craft in its own beauty. And so as I mentioned at the start, this is gonna be just one orbit and then the landing. Now as for how did the landing go? <laughs> yes, we survived no problem, but at first I wanted to land at the Kerbal Space Center and then thought, wait a minute, isn't SpaceX gonna splash it down into the sea? So I just decided to dump our speed and aim for water, indeed. You are bound to see that very very soon, as we're plotting our landing maneuver node to give us more or less of an idea. In retrospection, I should've gone for a steeper deorbit path and I guess that is just the remnants of an entire week basically of flying, testing space shuttles and SSTOs. On our way down, I needed to make quite a lot of small correction burns due to atmospheric drag which I can't really get the hold of completely as it sometimes doesn't affect you as much and sometimes it actually really does. I was still fairly calm gliding over the desert, unsuspecting of what, of what is to come. Yes, I could have and probably should have redone the landing, but it turned out quite funny in the end so I decided to leave it in so the video wouldn't be so serious since its KSP and Kerbal technologies are known to be quite random, wonky and unpredictable. Anyways, I hope I was able to kill off some of your time before the real life launch and go watch and enjoy that as it is probably one of the most important rocket launches in a very long time. If you enjoyed leave a like, if you didn't a dislike and honestly go watch the real life launch as my fun in water ends.